How to operate concrete batching plant. One preparation. One. Check whether the aggregate bin and the cement bin have been filled. Two. Placing the system function selection switch on the operating table board manually. 3. Turn on all the air switch. 4. Power the control section. 5. After the microcomputer power supply, immediately transfer to self-inspection and system detection. If all is normal, you can start to set the formula and proportioning. 6. Start the air compressor. 7. Start the mixing engine. 2. Manual operation. 1. The above preparations must have been completed. 2. For the convenience of system debugging and automatic operation, the system may start at any step in the stirring cycle when in a manual state, but the normal operating sequence of the system starts with the first type of aggregate being dropped. 3. In the manual state, each step of the cycle is controlled by the corresponding button on the panel. 4. According to the pre-select data formula, press the corresponding aggregate button in turn, and monitor the weight of the aggregate displayed by the display screen. When approaching the need of the formula, the weighing accuracy can be improved by means of multiple on break. 5. After the weighing of the orthopedic department, start the material hoist and send the aggregate into the mixer. 6. Turn on the screw machine and load cement or fly ash into the weighing hopper. If the required quantity is not reached within the allowable time, the cement silo should be broken. 7. When the cement weighing is finished, open the door to feed the mixer. If the unloading door of the mixer is open or the mixer is loaded, the corresponding indicator light will be on. 8. After mixing well, open the discharge door and discharge the material. 3. Automatic operation. 1. Initial state of the system. A. The output of the aggregate weighing sensor is zero. B. The cement weighing bucket is empty and the unloading door is closed. C. The mixer is empty and the discharge door closing signal is normal. D. The lower limit signal of the hopper is normal. E. There is no alarm signal. 2. Only if the system meets the initial state requirements given in. 1. Can the system be put into automatic operation? 3. Put the function selection switch in the automatic position. 4. By pressing the starting button, the system is put into an automatic cycle according to the pre-selected formula ratio and the number of mixing tanks. 5. If there is a failure in the system, no limit switch is detected in the mixer outlet door, etc. The screen alarm prompt will be given automatically. The system will stay in the problem state, wait for the signal to be in place and continue to run automatically, or the knob can be hit back to the manual position to be eliminated and put into operation automatically.